Hey, the city from the old HBO intro. Na 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 na. Oh God, we're on fire! Tony Soprano just got liquefied before my very eyes. So did the gals from Sex in the City. So you know, not all bad. Oh, as if the wasteland hadn't been through enough already, now they've got warriors on their hands. Yeah, Shane. And they just built that new completely ruined recreation center. Is that down by the rubble of Town Square? Yeah, right across from that pool of slime that recently became self-aware. Coming to you live from inside a flock of seagulls song that flock of seagulls deemed, quote, too crappy even for us. Sir Thomas More, who was famously executed for advising Henry VIII not to release this film. I gotta say, the wasteland looks like it's holding up pretty well over there. All the buildings are still standing, don't even seem damaged. Yeah, but it is getting kind of smoky. Uh, does that make it a wasteland? Oh, sure. Every time I forget about some pizza rolls in the oven long enough for the smoke detector to go off, I declare it a wasteland and go find a new house. Music copyright by Def, huh? Well, that explains it. Claudio Grissetti, did you produce this film? I prefer to say I in charge of production did. Thank you. Well, now the wasteland just looks like any average day in San Francisco. I haven't seen this many Italian names since I read a list of Chicago's convicted felons printed in the 1930s. Boom! <laughs> Take that, old-timey Italians. <laughs> Visual representation of how much this soundtrack is currently fraying my nerves. Not bad. Such devastation. What horrors has mankind's arrogance wrought? Will people never learn that they shouldn't leave random junk out in the desert? Okay, fine. It's not exactly a broken Statue of Liberty. Barbarella, no! Hmm. Something tells me we're not panning over to the skinny dipping teens who left these clothes behind. What? Over already? But I made pie. Well, you missed it. And you better take down your nuclear holocaust decorations, too. Everybody else did a month ago. NASA's skeleton astronaut program was a massive failure. That should probably have been expected. <laughs> Looks like some rednecks are cooking out. Ain't gonna let a little nuclear holocaust stop them from downing some cold ones and shooting cans off a fence. <laughs> XJ. W. Over. Can you confirm my resemblance XJ, to Sam Elliott? W, over. Over. This is XJ. W. Over. Radio morning show hosts got significantly XJ, less wacky w, after the over. nuclear holocaust. This is XJ. W. Is anyone out there? <laughs> he gets more southern each time. That's an effect of the radiation. XJ. W. Come in, please. Over. Weird, there's one glasses lens in my soup. Over. You give us less each day, Amos, you know that? Thank God for that! Over. Who knows when we'll find anything more? Thank God for these termite squeezins! Hey, give me a quick! Give me a quick! I think I got you! Yeah? Yeah? The Anoyatron is working! Yeah! Something's coming in! Something's coming in! Never seen people so excited about catching an empty nest rerun. I don't believe it anymore. What? Don't you hear it? It's a signal. Quiet. Shut up. <laughs> well, now he's just a full-on Andy Griffith character. At least a million megawatts strong. Yeah, megawatts. Yeah, that's the ticket. We're still alive. Oh, God. If only everything could go back the way it was. That's what I said when I heard they were making a third Transformers movie. Need some more ugly? They're coming! They're coming! Oh, Revere coming. got fat. Hurry! Zangief.
geeks here, they are in trouble. Ominous. 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 Fabulous. Ominous. Come on, move it! Take your position! I think this guy helped me last time I went to Guitar Center. coming and they have really stupid hair <laughs> mustache <laughs> whimsical monocle nazi is nervous everyone calm down these guys are just coming to film an 80s metal video yeah they are it's even worse than i feared I've seen kids make more exciting battle scenes with G.I. Joe's. No, I just stacked those empty kegs. I don't know why I jumped! Ugh. And this year's trailer park games are off to a smashing start! Wow, another devastating blow to the empty keg supply. These guys really mean business! <laughs> Whimsical monocle Nazi, we hardly knew ye. This is for adding shoulder boobs to a stormtrooper suit. Clearly, slow motion technology has survived the nuclear holocaust. It's flourishing, in fact. Mm -hmm. This is a fun movie if you want to meet some people, then see them all get shot in the face right away. Now to drop this baby in one of their elementary school toilets. <laughs> Shake the feeling that these guys are more into the bike jumps than the terrorizing of innocents. Careful, eye contact with this guy puts you at risk for an incurable STD. <laughs> He's right though, the gun's pretty funny. <laughs> You having fun? <laughs> yeah, me too. Definitely. Bumper car steering wheel takes away from the menace a bit. Uh-oh. Sounds like we're late for our training montage. Oh, great. You made me drop my hat. Those are really hard to find in the wasteland, you know? It's all cotton. Kurt Vonnegut, Gabe Kaplan hybrid, no! My sexiest prize yet. Oh, oh my god, sorry. I was supposed to dispense a cool drink. You look parched. Still learning the controls. Boy, do I feel sick. <laughs> A 
another car. So these guys are mostly about destroying any vehicles that aren't dune buggies? Yep, just a bunch of really passionate buggy enthusiasts. Over there may go a bird in flight. Oh yeah, we'll kill him, but first I'm thinking smoothies! This buggy would make such a cool toy on the bottom shelf, below the much cooler Mad Max toys on that sad toy wall in the dusty back corner of a drugstore. So one guy drives, one guy just stands there, like a road crew. Decapitated by a battle bot, just like his horoscope said. Mm -hmm. Classic Virgo. Soundtrack provided by a slowly dying Pac-Man machine. Cool rat tail. So is he a Padawan learner or a stormtrooper? Star Wars Blu-rays really confusing. Oh, the new George R. R. Martin book. Good. Been waiting about 400 years since the last one. Books. Check them out! Books. That's what started the whole apocalypse. Damn that Twilight series. I warned everyone it would be the end of us all. Good man, Mako. Haven't been reading any books, have you? Sure hope not, because I think I've made my stance on those pretty clear. There's got to be a way we can look stupider. They're much too soft. What about you guys? He's the one I choose to take command after me. You're coddling. He's a weakling. Believe me, one. He'll never be a king. Psh, that's what they said about Ralph. King of the <laughs> desert. The world is dead. Man, evil Ringo is a bummer. But I'll purify it with blood. No one is innocent. But only we, the Templars, are the ministers of revenge. Revenge on books and most magazines. Daily periodicals are in a gray area. One, 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 one. These guys are terrible at counting. One, one, one. one. Maybe they're spelling something. I, I wish I knew binary. A bunch of crazies trying to come through. What do we do? Exterminate them. Oh, exterminate. That's kind of a fancy word. Where'd you learn that? In a book? Uh, I mean kill. Make kill dead them. Fools. They're still running like flies to a spider's mouth. Is, is that what flies do? Those hmm. others had a radio. I heard signals coming over it. Civilization still exists somewhere. One, we're not the last men. Oh, no, nothing's left. Nothing. That's what the manager at Old Country Buffet had to tell customers after Louis Anderson finished his lunch. <laughs> Film is a straight up masterclass in irritating sounds. Somewhere, Yoko Ono sheds a single tear, nods slightly, and whispers, Perfect. God, these days you can't even leave a flaming pile of rubble out overnight without some monkey men rummaging through it. I tell you, it's almost enough to make me consider moving out of the wasteland. Yeah, my wife's been mad ever since I hired these guys as a cleaning service. But they work so cheap, I couldn't resist. Still, I didn't expect her to change the locks and dunk all my possessions in acid. Miss you, honey. It's the Pope, and he's ready to kick a little ass. Nicole Richie! Hey, were you guys looking at my car skull? It was about that time Luke Duke realized he'd hopped a gulch into the wasteland, just like Uncle Jesse made him swear he'd never do. It's a doozy of a pickle, all right, and you can bet your bottom dollar on that. Man, this place is a disaster, and Mom and Dad are going to be home in like 20 minutes! The Angry Brady. <laughs> Who 
did this. What difference does it make? No matter who it was, my car insurance is gonna go through the roof. Cynical social commentary upsets us! I use the same approach when employees at the Apple store come towards me. Yep, better safe than sorry. Another surprise birthday party ruined. Oh, sorry, just kind of got in a groove. Ugh, post-apocalyptic small talk is the worst. You have a shot, man. For me. Yeah, but I don't really want to waste the bullet. I saw a rubber hose over there. How about I slowly strangle you with it? You know, on second thought, I've changed my mind. There's still so much to live for, and after all, hope springs eternal. Enough already. Sheesh. Talk about a chatty Kathy. Kind of wish Wall E would roll in, scoop everything in this movie up, and compact it into a nice little cube. Huh. Daytime shows that his car is even more ridiculous than we thought. Thanks, Daytime. No problem. One of those trendy new food trucks. Pork belly and mango tacos, here I come. Wow, a button that opens the door. The, the future is everything I dreamed. Yeah, yeah, but how is he going to close it now, huh? There's no button for that. Yeah, yeah see, totally screwed. I got a bad feeling about this, boss. So you've decided the Skull is a goofy sidekick who gives him advice? The world is my canvas, Mike. Yeah, those tubes on the car look sinister, but they really just pump in tropical air freshener. <laughs> Sounds like he just stepped in a septic puddle. Okay, there's got to be a plot around here somewhere. Exploding bullets, cool. Nah, it's no door opening button. His mano a mano battle with Bart Simpson would become the stuff of legend. Damn it, I can't see a thing. I really regret smashing my glasses just for the fun of reenacting that one Twilight Zone. Warriors of the third grade level slingshot wars. He also killed the last person who hit him in the leg with a snowball. Another senseless post-nuclear holocaust fight caused, ultimately, by books. Thanks a lot, books. Oh, stupid banana peel! Get out of there! Damn Tatum O'Neils, they get everywhere. <laughs> Not bad. I almost beat you this battle. I'll kill you someday! You're slowing down! <laughs> yeah, you got pretty close. I think you nicked an artery. Practicing, though. Hey, I can't believe you've come here like only to play. Oh, you guessed right, genius. Uh, who are you, by the way? Uh, there's something wrong with the gear shift. Do you think you can fix it? Sure. Open up. Oh, and don't just pee in the radiator like last time. I really don't think that helped. Haha, -ha, I'm here. <laughs> A toy! Well? Find the trouble? Big trouble. Blue velvet levels of trouble. Who was this? Some guy. Uh. Yeah, wait till you see what got snagged in my grill. I'll give you an hour. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just as long as I'm done in time for Yo Gabba Gabba. <clears throat> And he ate some cinnamon teddy grams and fell asleep on the engine block. Here comes the Knight Rider car's tacky cousin again. Oh god, the tie rod snapped! The steering is out, help! Ah, no brakes! This ain't gonna end well! Yeah, that was $800 worth of gas. See? It's perfect. Yeah, I'm really leading a golden life, kid. You're not such a hot driver, you know that? Mm. Keep practicing, though. And you keep soiling your pull-ups. Your cape is gay! Oh, Come back soon! Oh, and I don't need to be paid or anything. I'll just go pick the meat off that guy's ear. Drum Beats radio station is terrible. <laughs> to the grocery store, men! Just so repetitive. Why am I still listening? It's literally the same thing over and over again. Why am I listening? What's with that cardboard cutout? I was just going to tell you your gas cap was off. I shall annoy you off the road. <laughs> Pulling panels off is the best part of my job. Oh, oh, God. Sorry, that's not supposed to happen. Oh, sorry. But will you pick up my kids from soccer practice? Great, and I just mailed the last payment on that thing, too. <laughs> that really enjoys poking dudes from behind. Please roast me to death, please roast me to death, please roast me to death. Oh, you jerk! Get my horribly tasteless underpants to share. He's satisfied that his crew is giving him their best day's work. My workflow! Oh, Mondays! All oh, the pulse-pounding excitement of a Costco parking lot. I've never been able to get my tires to squeal while driving on soft dirt. Well, have you ever tried sporting a mohawk or perhaps mounting a polished metal skull on your hood? I have, yes. Surprised you didn't notice my giant black mohawk. It's right here on top of my head. I'll look at it later. Oh, whoa, whoa! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Would you stop cutting like that? God, those are gonna be big after the apocalypse, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, I'd wear them, but they play hell with my huge black mohawk. Do you have a mohawk? It's right here, oh, look! Gotta watch the movie. Man, this is tense. The scene? What? Oh, no, I was talking about this muscle in my neck. Would you? Ghetto! Ghetto! Sometimes you just gotta stop and shout the word ghetto several times. <laughs> Don't I know it. As a boss, he's firm but fair. Can't have employees going around yelling ghetto like that. Ghetto, I thought you were dead, Scott. And I thought you were done playing watchdog, Shadow. 
No, I do it for the health insurance. Well, I guess we were both wrong. Yeah. You're gonna have to tell one who saw you. And I don't think one is going to like you. Neither will you if it happens again. But I really should let you get back to playing watchdog. I'll tell him you spared me. It could be a good way to make peace. I'm only at peace with dead Templars. Well, yeah, I mean, dead Templars are great. You can't help but be at peace with those nuts. Play some Zaxxon real quick. Probably safer with the guys who netted you. Hey, Scorpion. You fight, you kill, you rob. How the hell are you any different from us? One wants to exterminate all human beings, so life will be erased from this planet, right? Scorpion, you are pure cold logic, my friend. Well, now you know how I'm different. I also collect my waste products in bags and label them, so that's pretty different, too. So, she's just gonna ignore as many ass, gas, or grass bumper stickers? Are you hurt? I took my goggles off for you. Let me just push this fake thing into this phony crap. Because it's a real panty dropper, eh? Scorpion. That's what was in my lollipop? Scorpion. As usual. Hell knows where he's coming from, and Hell knows where he's going. So, call Hell, pretend you're his aunt, and find out, can you? The trouble is when he stops. What if he stops right here? Make for a messy situation. Because he always dumps a bunch of his white castle bags. Scorpion. How about a little preemptive destruction? There are plenty of us, even against a maniac like him. Ah, oh, there you are. True. But how many of you will live to brag about it? Are, are you asking me, or was that for effect? Sir? Sir? Are you forgetting how ridiculous he made you look? That he calls us worse than animals? You can't forget that. I forgot what I was going to say. I forgave him. You forgave him. So you're just going to pretend you didn't hear me say that lunch is ready? Do you also forgive him for being tougher than you are? None of us forgives him for all he's done to us. I say kill the man, one. Waste him! No! No, I, I think you mean... Ghetto! Ghetto! He's come back to taunt you through Mako. What are you waiting for? For him to do it again? For him to challenge you to another duel? It would mean his death. I gotta check this out. Is that a real beard? Your blood is not enough for me, no, Scorpion. You have to give me much more. Your pride. And your soul. Lunch is ready! Been a quiet ride for the last half hour, ever since he tried to get away with that silent but deadly fart. It's really just a less coherent version of Hanna-Barbera's wacky races. Okay. So he's driving a car. Still driving it. Keeps driving it. He's driving it still. Wait, what? Now I'll never know if he continued to drive. One will cut us to, to ribbons if he finds out. That it's a faux pas to wear white after Labor Day. Not until we bring in Scorpion's head. Well? What do you say? What about you, Gospel? Who and where are you? Okay. You're on. I'll make that bastard bleed like a pig. Like a healthy, intact pig. That Wait, is that? You know, hmm. Like, uh, after a hit like this, we can fix things up. Easy. Keep your voice down. <laughs> Good old Gospel. Always Why so cautious. <laughs> gospel. What do you, the audience, think? It's time we demoted them. You never take me anywhere nice. 
It's after the apocalypse. There is no place nice. Someone's letting the smooth taste fool them. Not a very stealthy vehicle, is it? Parking enthusiasts of the wasteland! With all the Templars around, you women are getting rare. Oh, that's exactly how I proposed to my wife. You cad, you're messing up my carefully arranged filth. You see, I never had any luck with the let's check to see if your lower shoulder area is injured maneuver myself. Hmm. Let's see what I can do. But first, need a beer? Well, I can stop the pain for a while. But then we gotta find somebody who knows medicine. Stay still. The leech is attached better if you're still. I thought you... What? Well, uh, nothing. Only you're not what I was expecting. Didn't think you'd smell so much like a goat. Why are you doing this? Why shouldn't I? Oh, hang on. Let me take that again. W why shouldn't I? Wait. Uh, why shouldn't I? Dang. Now you beefed. No, that's still yours. It's coming out of the seat cushion. You're right. <laughs> that was a doozy, huh? <laughs> oh yes, it's still very powerful. Ah! Tommy Wiseau is hijacking the film! See, when you make your love tent out of transparent shower curtains, you sacrifice your privacy just a bit. That's what I found. People? I have no idea. I was traveling with a group looking for someplace uncontaminated. Uncontaminated? And you ended up in his bed? <laughs> Why? I was well, hey, I haven't been in a booth for a while. What do you guys want? Oh, my stars! It's just one little scene. Oh, well, have fun rewinding it again and again, you sickos. What would you do if there isn't? Da -da! Next time I'll remember to wear my filthy raincoat. Enjoy yourselves. It's just the worst timing with that kind of you thing. Lost hope either. What makes you think so? Otherwise, why would you continue to fight? I fight to survive. And the cameraman just wanders away. So they're not going to compliment my novelty mustache and Olivia Newton-John headband. Hmm. Well, it was around about that time that those old Duke boys started looking for a place to set up their transparent bowling tent. What are you doing? Anthony Bourdain is bemused. A bomb! A bomb! The reviews are in! A bomb! Although, this thing did receive five stars from What the Hell is Happening magazine. Magazine that favorably reviews things about which you can say what the hell is happening? Yes, yes, it's a it's a very narrow focus. This scene was singled out as being particularly praiseworthy. Aha! My sex tent is saved! Alright, good luck with everything! God for my leather and wool shoulder pads. Oh, why did I make my jacket out of blasting caps? Oh, he's got shoulder pads. It's no use, Carl. Let's beat it. Mustache power. edited by throwing all the footage into a blender? Either that or by a dog who couldn't keep his mind off the squirrels just outside the editing room window. No! He's mine! 
Would have been a nice place to shout ghetto a couple of times, but who am I to second guess Mako? Gotta get back to the car. I just know she's changing all my radio presets. Are we ever going to meet the solid gold dancer with the compound bow? Stores actual cod in his cod piece. I want my helicopter car take off. Damn the Prince of Thieves, this shiz. Oh, the soundtrack guy broke out the Casio MT100, and he is ready to jam. Oh, sorry, didn't see the landmine. I was aiming for a pheasant. Huge pothole. Post-apocalyptic municipal services are really subpar. <laughs> Dumb honkies. Sorry guys, was, was I just racist there? One of the honkies joke maybe not, but can you stop burning a cross right here in the recording booth? Oh, oh that's considered racist? Yeah, also given the small booth, kind of puzzling and, and very dangerous. If you line up with your ass up in the air as much as our hero does here, you probably want your ass up in the air. Man boob kick. Oh, he hates that guy's man boob. Die man boob. The rest of you is fine, seriously. I just loathe your left man boob! You're getting my ponytail dirty! Stop picking my nose, you weirdo! Just, just not the hair, please. I work for hours every morning to get it right. And on they rode like that for 500 miles with one quick pee break. My mannequin, no! The poor guy drank a lot of nitroglycerin this morning. After the nukes fly, making car sounds as obnoxious as possible will be the first order of business for mankind. I was worried that since I was sitting in the car, you couldn't see my comically gigantic cod piece, so, uh, here you go. Take him back to one. If he sent him, this is my answer. If he didn't, this is my warning. Okay. Anything you want me to tell Gospel? The dinner plate-sized shoulder pads on his jacket would not survive post-apocalyptic Project Runway. People love the popomatic feature on these cars. Sensible U-turns of the wasteland. Hey, as wastelands go, it's pretty picturesque. And I haven't heard an ear-punishing vehicle in almost five seconds. Wait, being left alone with my thoughts is worse. Bring back the chaos! The end of days is mostly a lot of bored driving around. It's like living in Simi Valley. Minus the Carl's Juniors's. True, it's easy to forget the positive aspects of the bomb. Yeah, humanity is nearly extinct. How did we manage to hit a hobo? Well, I'm gonna fill up my thermos with coffee at the 7-Eleven. Oh, that's right, post-nuclear wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> um. He always likes to stop and rest at Big Wang Rock. Yeah, good, yeah, yeah. Big Wang Rock is like the sun. You don't want to stare for too long. Hey, look, a vehicle of some sort. And thankfully, they're not cheating us out of a single inch of its trip down that road. Thanks for understanding what we need, movie. Our hero taking some me time. 
a.k.a. pooping. Thank you. Scorpion! You gonna rock me like a hurricane or what? You took your sweet time, Nadir. I enjoyed watching your little game of war. I didn't know that you wanted my help. It Drink me you in! Needed it anyway. Maybe. But I would have handled it without your help. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your headband, mister? God, he's beautiful. Pointless standoff of the wasteland! If you kill me, my mustache will live on. I need a warrior outfit, big boots, anything heavy you want on top, sure. But for practical reasons, it's very important my pubic area be nearly naked. This one in love with you too? Like me? That I didn't ask her. I just asked her to blow your brains out. If necessary. Asked her to blow. That's all I heard. Really? What are your plans now, Scorpion? Whatever they are, they don't include you. Vaudeville is dead and our act is finished. Hey, you look like you were having so much fun. You know, that's your defect, Scorpion. You don't understand the power of victory. Sure, I know what you... you Wait, how the hell did you get to that? You take the idea of being the strongest too seriously. Ah, well, it's easy to take something serious. That's true. Sorry, let, let me try that again. Take something seriously. That's true. Damn it. How long have you been together? I didn't do it to her. Yeah, well, let's... Mike, how long have you and Bridget been together? I just passed I didn't a do it to her. Some ways back. Maybe there's someone there who can help her. Follow me. Follow me on Twitter. I get a lot of trending topics started. Why am I so angry? Why do I kill? And why the top knot in my hair? You knew our rules, Faithful. Disobey and you die. With huge Rolling Stones so lips you know branded onto your body. And I'll show your followers, because we know no mercy. No. Oh. We are the Templars. Our website is still under construction, but still, with word of mouth, you should have heard of us we by are now. The Templars, the high priests of death. We have been chosen to make others pay for the crime of being alive. And we do it in a we fun, safe, non-judgmental work environment. Accomplices and heirs of the nuclear holocaust will be wiped out once and for all that the seed of man will be canceled forever from the face of the earth. Just cancel his face, that's all I ask. And you will make him. We're the chosen one among the Templars. Our Kwisatz Haderach, our Neo, our Harry Potter, our Napoleon Dynamite. He made the rules and preceded us into the great darkness. But you erred. Very but proud of their wrists in this organization. One. For this we will honor you. We'll offer you a thousand, ten thousand stupid lives. You guys bring the stupid lives? Templars, hate! Hate! With all your hearts, hate! That was Habitat for hate Humanity's original slogan. One, yeah, a mistake. It really confused one, people. One, <laughs> one, 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 Find Scorpion! One, Find one, Scorpion! One, one, Kill him! One. No! Bulked up, Aziz Ansari has decided. Once you start using a gun to do stuff, it's very addictive. Oh, hell yes. I brush my teeth with mine. What teeth? Exactly. One, please, don't do this. Don't have done this, really, at this point. Ah, stop whining. The guy in the sling isn't complaining, and he's totally on fire. Please. Quick teeth cleaning, good. I know, staff meeting. Charlie, Charlie, does it work? Nah, shit. You don't deserve visual information, audience. Why didn't you 
going to write a, a letter complaint to multi elector Not funny. It wasn't funny yesterday. It won't be because funny tomorrow. For five years, and the company blew up nine years ago, along with the rest of this part of the world. Which is apparently New Jersey, based on his accent. <laughs> Guess someone left the camera on during the craft services break. <laughs> Got the empty kegs restacked. Good. Does anyone want to do a scene? Anyone? We mustn't give up. Let's keep hope. Father. I just gave up hope. It feels awesome. Let's thank God for it. Father, I got something. It's a cramp in my leg. Oh, you thought I meant something on the radio? Sorry. But these people are gathered to watch a cockroach fight. Well? Just a minute. Well? That was not a minute. Morse code. It's the international signal. Hooray, since we both despise local Morse code signals. That there are other real people broadcasting it? That's right. And do they have sweet hats like me? Ten miles away. That's where I wish the camera was, instead of in his mouth. We're saved. Saved. The Lord did it! He delivered again, just like when I prayed for a nuclear holocaust. That was you. That's... Father! Father! We have visitors! But my hat! Add some art cars and naked people strung out on eggs, you got Burning Man. He sees the hat. Headband people are naturally hostile to hat people. Don't worry, I'm here and I've got big shoulder pads. I don't know. The question asked was, is that your stripper ex-girlfriend, Father? I don't know. He's well-groomed! Kill him! You white people. I'm so scared they can start shooting in a second. Yeah. He's a Civil War soldier, that's why he's scared. How they are by them with feathered hair? Did I imagine that? There's only one way to find out. Honey, you're gonna have to take a few bullets. I'm gonna put on more layers. Hi, I'm Billy Jack's brother, Billy Jerry. Yes, I know it doesn't sound as cool. Please, this is urgent. Do you think we make a cute couple? What do you want? This woman possibly has a broken shoulder. Is there anybody here who can do anything about it? The director fell in love with this guy's T-Zone. I'll make a trade with you. We've got some food. No, it's not necessary. We look not for earthly rewards. Unless the food is pizzeria combos. Man, do I miss them! How come they don't want anything? Generosity is pretty yeah, creepy. People from yeah. set. They believe in something called God. We think it's a type of turnip. Huh. Well, if there's a God, we may as well commit affronts to it. Hmm? We have nothing to fear. These people will come in peace. Right, 1930s newsboy? Take her to Wills. And ask her where she got that hot outfit. Could be dress code for our women, as well as our sexier men. That guy's disoriented because the camera isn't halfway up his nose. I don't know who you are, only that you come in peace. But one thing I want to ask you. Do you like my hat? Answer Do honestly. Too close for comfort. I suggest you leave right away. Unfortunately, we can't move on for another two days. A lot of our trucks are falling apart. We shouldn't have made them Maybe out of dung. Maybe our would like some rest, some refreshment. Yeah, I think that's okay. Show them the way. Oh, May I have wow, their religion has cocktail Vinny. waitresses. Uh, this is Vinny. Whatever you need, she'll take care of it. Headband cleaning it is. I never had any real medical training. 
Or any other kind of training. Body training? Nope, well, never had it. Anything has to be fixed or repaired. They come to me to do it. That's why they call me the Wiz. Oh, <laughs> poor guy doesn't know they call him that because of his embarrassing incontinence. All fixed up. Wow, anyway, you smell like urine. You should be traveling with me. They asked me if I wanted to leave with them. And I said yes. Nobody beats the Wiz. Say you'll leave too. The Templars are looking for me. If I stick around, I'll draw them to you. They can't get enough of my down-home cheese biscuits. Mm -hmm. Can't you believe there's something better where we're headed? Heaven is dead, along with all the rest. And that's why Hallmark cards if fire that's him. that's what you really think, I feel sorry for you. So where does dreaming of the past get you? Um, ride with the whiz? Listen to me. Forget about it. It's better to have no memories. Again, Hallmark thought that made a bad sympathy card. You gave him time to strike. Now the AFL-CIO is joining him. I told you. We had to beat him to it. Who do you think is going to beat Scorpion to anything? You? Look, maybe a guy with a Scorpion Send fanboy Tumblr page doesn't have the best judgment here. He didn't notice the lock of hair I cut in his sleep. Good. Let's go! Get that let out! Get that let out! Come on! No! Colloquialism, get the let out, survives the apocalypse. The concept of God does not. Well, humanity, the future is a bunch of stormtrooper droogy hybrids living a constant NASCAR race. Okay, just gonna bite on this capsule here. Mike! Not the poison capsule, not yet! No, this was a steak sauce capsule. I just had a hankering for... Oops, what do you know, it was the poison capsule. Thanks for noticing. Hi, oh, I'm Ted. What you need? What's the matter? Don't you like it? Well, no, it's a fine yes. penis, Ted. Just You're unexpected. Wonderful. No, I, I mean, uh, I didn't know there was any more of this stuff left. I mean, Clamato, wow. You know what I like about it? The clam taste. You look like a healthy guy. You're lucky. Oh, two hours of P90X every day is lucky? You can be sure. I'm healthy. And healthy means sexy. And sexy means, uh, healthy. Okay, I'm healthy, not smart. Tell me. Do you do the, uh, deep concentration service? Yes. But I don't do all that much work. Most of the guys here in the caravan are already paired off. It's a union job. I get paid whether I work or not. That's too bad. But them. I will need to work on my biorhythmic concentration. It's been a while since I've done it. Oh, well, that's okay. Break out the transparent sex we tent. Can, uh, relax over here. Film from the POV of your stoned roommate's ferret. Take your time. Meanwhile, we can talk. Can we talk? Do you believe that the signal is real? No, I mean, is there a corner of the world still left the way it used to be? Delaware's fine, but <laughs> who's going to Delaware? I don't know. Where are you from? Dallas Five. Dallas Five. Sounds like a fantastic place. Beats the hell out of Fort Worth Three. How's it going? Okay. I am entering into phase. Me too, provided your name is Phase. <laughs> but I was telling you where we come from. Oh, yes, yes, uh, go on. Most interesting. God, took the Viagra too early. I'm in agony. We are dilationists. And our pastors preached the end of the world. We thought they were just messing with us, and so we kept on sinning. Already in our shelters. With enough reserves to survive for seven years. And you just made it. That was written in the heavens. It was the Not will of now, God. now, Gazoo! And after seven years, 
The Earth's surface was decontaminated. Thanks to Febreze. Then the signal came, and our journey began. That means you've been traveling for two years. Sounds like you really believe. That also was written. And she died. By the way, do you know the name of the pastor who's leading us? Don't tell me. His name is... Gospel? Moses? Yes. Well, mm. that ass ain't gonna get all up in itself. <laughs> How many times during sex she called him Gordon from Sesame Street? Oh god, oh god, oh god, why did I drink all that Martinelli's? I just gotta hold it in one more second and. Ah, uh, too late. Boy, Scotsy. This movie has none of the cinematic splendor of Boy, Scotsy. Here's Oily Guy. Oh, I see what you did there. Can I butt in a second? Already tried that, pal. Got shot down. You leaving already? Can't stay in one place for long. Too many people running after me. See you later. I'll find you. I always do. Yeah, I know. You and those student loan dicks. Bye. Right. This was me at every college party. Bye. Well, what should I tell my stockbroker to do about IBM? Bye. Now, who do the Steelers play this week? They're on bye. <laughs> and the chitty chitty Mario Kart DeLorean Batmobile Bang Bang races across town. Some say he's two men on motorcycles. All we know is he's called the Stigs. Sir, I think your tail light is out. Oh, right, the go faster switch. Don't know why I keep turning it off. Rocket design inspired by his dog's penis. Wasteland, come out and play, yay! In the wasteland. This whole thing is like a more eloquent version of the Fast and the Furious series. The Oldsmobile Jeep was a bad idea. All right then, that's taken care of. I'm headed to Hardy's. Drive in your blind spot. His power to swerve at motorcycles is amazing. Uh. Where did I come from? The tanks are slowing down to drop me off. I could have gotten hurt. like that are pretty much turn signals in Southern California. I'm gonna eat your spare tire! So, Templars, ancient defenders of Christendom, now reduced to the role of homicidal Shriners. I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, where's this coming from? Damn it, I had like three raccoon pelts in the back seat. 
Scorpion. You didn't want to live as a Templar. But you'll die as one. That's my new slogan. Thinking of having that made into one of those accessories posters, maybe with a covered bridge or an eagle on it. Behold my CMA award! I won! You did? I'm the high priest and executor of your initiation! Sorry, when you said I won, I thought you meant that you'd actually won something. <laughs> Hello! Whoa, hey, whoa, nice. say! Not bad. And now the traditional Templar initiation spanking with belt. Get her. Get her. Welcome, heavy metal Lee Van Cleef. That what, 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 who, where, what? Movie's trying to distract us. Check your wallet. Hey, you know, I go to a health club that has this station. Really works your obliques and your lats, because you can do both curls and reverse curls. <clears throat> it, it has this machine? Yep. You know, now that I think of it, my club only has this machine. You know, uh, treadmills, stairmasters, ellipticals? Oh, God, no. <laughs> And come to think of it, it's not so much a club as it is a dank basement lit by one cracked light fixture, ABBA music playing at all times through a tinny speaker. Ah, oh, Kevin! It's like this. What? It's my aunt's basement. She lets me use her Bowflex every other Wednesday. Whew, phew. And then she has a bunch of guys sodomize me. Oh, 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 I'm kidding! Sorry, this movie just really upset me and I panicked. Oh, Kevin. <laughs> Supreme One! I am trying to perform a very important ritual here! Supreme One, caravan! The biggest we've ever seen! They've got camels and everything! Let's take it! Finish him off! I don't want anything left but pieces! Then stitch the pieces back together and let him go! But with a stern warning! After we war in the wasteland, can we go to the dunes? Let's go! Typical boss leaves the torture and murder of his sworn enemy in the hands of middle management. It's a wonder anyone gets properly killed around there. So, cars leaving then. Say what you want about your warriors of the wasteland, they drive very carefully and maintain a reasonable space cushion. I'm Dwayne, I'll be killing you today. Um, never killed a guy before. You think maybe you could help me out? Ricky hopped that car off the metal guide rail at Six Flags Atlanta. resume their multi-year game of punch buggy. Thanks for not looking up, you guys. All this commuting really cuts into their marauding time. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna maraud effectively, location is key. Didn't you used to maraud, Mike? Oh, God, no, not me. <laughs> I did rampage for a while, though. I'd love to rampage. Rampaging's the best. Just hang it out. Hanging out, hanging out with my enemies, having ourselves a party. <sighs> Just check my portfolio. I really took it in the shorts last year. Oh, sorry, Scorpion. After the Armageddon, there won't be any food or fresh water, but the plexiglass dome factories will be running at full capacity. I'm proud to announce that orders are up 300% over quarter two, despite last week's plague of rats.
It's really hard to sneak around when you're six foot five and gold plated. Oh, that is one sad carnival. And apparently their only ride is get dragged behind a car a whirl. Ooh, right through the cow pies. Get the last of that donut frosting. Mm. Tootsie Roll? He likes to give his victims a little treat. Oh, oh, we... I'm a thug! Yeah, a puddle! I'm gonna try the lip gloss this time. He likes to take a good eight, ten minutes to reload. Ah! Migraine! Is that all you got, you puss? <laughs> no, I think I'll go with the raspberry. Okay, five minute break. You might want to stretch your legs. Fella, could you turn a little more this way? Yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, perfect, thank you. Oh, I gotta get one of those for deer season. Good thing he landed next to some naturally occurring soup. Ooh. Nice day for quipping, don't you think? Yes, the aftermath of going to Sunday Mass with Nick Nolte. You always seem to be getting yourself into trouble, Scorpion. The principal wants to see you. Possibly you need my assistance? Yeah, you could help me up. <laughs> oh, and I sheared my junk off on a sharp rock. You want to help me look for that? Aye. Nothing sadder than a wounded marionette. My work is done here. We got visitors! Who is it? Is it company? Pepper! So their lookout can warn them about things when they're five feet from the compound. Come on. <laughs> and Come on. noisy. I'd better slip into my battle negligee. Put extra guards on our dirty rag collection. Trotsky? Don't go anywhere with him. Hey, put your leg up. It looks really cool. Gary? Gary, you're supposed to be in the... There you are. Wait, they're just looping the same guys now. And back to one. Kid's a genius with a spark gun. Let me go. At least quit spray painting me. You can't even stand up. You just calm down. You need your energy. You have a lot of aimless driving left to do. Here lies the great scorpion in pain. Victim of the big bad queers, the Templars. Well, no wonder they listened to Bette Midler. All you had to do was ask. Nadir, I need your help. You are not so great now, scorpion. Yeah. Young Ann Coulter chimes in. 
Morning, Tom. Morning, Pete. <coughs> nice day. Huh. The Lakers must have won. How do you guys find a wallet? Probably not, huh? Get this cleaned up. We've got a Templar pancake breakfast to get to. Those three haven't shown up yet. Who? The guys we left behind to finish them off. Scorpion? Yeah, remember your nemesis? He used to be one of us. Yeah. Adam in the old harness just yesterday. Any of this ringing a bell? Against the wall. Move! I'll teach them I don't know what the truth is. This is what really happens when you fill out the Scientology questionnaire. They seem largely indifferent about being forced marched to their horrible deaths. Have courage. That goes for you, Sweet Cheeks, Dr. Stash, Muffin Man, Seat Belt, Captain Ron. Patented burp, delicate sauce, ethyl. Yeah, Apple's design department really lost their way after Steve Jobs died. Get a move on in there, I'll have you a hide. Give me a break, will ya? Get off my case. Give me a break and get off my case? Is there an unemployed sitcom husband in there? Scorpion's in his rocky after losing to Clubber Lang phase right now. So I hear you've joined a support group with Ned Beatty and Andy Dufresne. Master. You'll never fend off unwanted sodomy at that rate. Master. Travis Pickle would have questioned your talking to him five times by now. Try harder. Try harder. The only time those words were uttered on this set. Like coward. With no courage. You are no match for me, Scorpion. You are nothing. I'm a coward with courage, damn it. I'm not trying to motivate you. I seriously think you suck. Use that anger. Control it. You shall know the power of victory. <laughs> Soon they'll kneel before me. <laughs> Don't go bobbing in. Check out the camp first. Go on, you go with them. Perfectly good car fire and nobody brings marshmallows. Damn it! If you could win the sky, if you could win the sky, I... Weed, helping poetry to be tolerated since the 50s. But I don't want to stain my name with ridicule, fighting against a world of endless sky. I'm Vincent Price, reading Jewel. Soon I, too, shall breach the supreme barrier. Turn this off. You're bumming out the apocalypse. I sent some men to the garage to find out what's keeping those dumbbells. <laughs> scared of a ghost shadow? Man, you shouldn't be scared of... Do we have any Funyuns? If you could win the sky... If you could win the sky... Yeah, I'm I... totally gonna win the sky <laughs> after the Cleveland show. <laughs> the world. But I don't want to stay in my Dr. Name. Seuss, that guy definitely smoked weed, man. <laughs> Sneeches. Ladies and gentlemen, the 400th scene of cars driving through a rocky wasteland. He's hoping that sweet entrance will make up for him for getting to pick up the milk. You are still too slow. Slow? I say I'm ready. If I say you are slow, you are slow. Fortunately, I say you are ready. You. Nobody asked you. Don't flatter yourself, Scorpion. You're just another that arachnid with a you. tail comprised and of five caudal segments and a stinger. Yours truly. A good fight is always exciting to me. Forget it. This is my affair. And frankly, it can't go much worse than it already has. Mine, yours, his. What's the difference? Wise up, Scorpion. The more we are, the better. There's only one thing that matters. Winning! Winning in Scooby-Doo-shaped fruit snacks! <laughs> Scorpion's having a real hard time being near that thing. And the more of a bastard you are, <laughs> the sure you are to win. Later proven untrue by Barry Bonds. 
Kid's a sentient my buddy doll, right? <laughs> he hasn't laughed like that since the day he had to eat his brother to survive. Man, this kid would have made the little rascals his bitch. Idiots! Dreamers! Don't you understand? The world is dead. How not to start a wedding toast. We have all closed our eyes. Even the heavens are silent. Does that mean we won the sky? Oh. And you, and you. Shut up. You are walking dead. Rotting corpses. This reminds me of the time I coached the t-ball team. There is nothing left. Nothing. Not even the signal you think you hear. Nothing. And now, first up on our open mic is Gospel, who's got some funny material about his mother-in-law. There's no more. Bet these guys throw a great office Christmas party. There's only one day. One ecstasy. One remaining package of Dunkaroos. Death! And death you shall have, you last ugly dregs of humanity! You don't deserve to live! Hey, Anyways, I'd love to have your vote come November. Thanks. Shadow! Punish those clods! It's against the rules to interrupt me! Clods? Does he write for Mad Magazine? What is it, Shadow? Did they black in your feeble fetzer? Shadow! Answer! Watch it! It's a trap! Battle position! Clods! The ultimate snappy answer to a stupid question. So, they ripped off the stormtroopers' costumes and their incompetence. Just then, as all looked hopeless, Kevin Costner showed up and delivered the damned mail. It's Akira! Yeah, I didn't really plan past just kind of looming here. So I'm gonna go. Hey dear, you kind of my ride. Uh, so to wrap up, you're all scum, you deserve to die, and please save me! Scorpion, good to see you. If you'll just step into this object, which resembles a large restraining harness, uh, we'll begin bending you forward. No problem, I'll just... Hey! <laughs> Almost dead, you. <yeah. laughs> oh, you scamp. Fool me once, you know. It's the Bangles song Eternal Flame had fewer eternal flames in this movie. Cut to and cut to and cut to and cut to Scorpion. What are you here for? I'm here to kill you. What? Oh, what did I do? It's my Frank Serpical facial hair, isn't it? Seems like the kind of movie that would use real dead bodies. <sighs> Secretly hoping that all this comes down to a dance-off. Vulture lands and begins tearing at that corpse. I mean, actor! Am I in the shot? Do you, do you, want, do you want me in the shot? I'll, I'll get out of the shot. When he said he was here to kill him, he left out the word, eventually. Feels like they're setting up a cliffhanger here. Will Scorpion kill one? Will that black guy get too old for this <laughs> Will Mr. Van Kuypers discover that Donna has been sleeping with Wilhelm? Find out next time on Warriors of the Wasteland.
You haven't called. Okay, now, Scorpion, you... Okay, cut, cut. He walked behind a girder. Or, no, keep rolling. No fair, I got you. Okay, that time I definitely... Mom, Scorpion's cheating! <laughs> and he's immediately shot in the face. Oh, wait, a poorly shot action sequence set to synth drums? This comes out of nowhere! I like that some regional differences emerge in their depths. Got the classic leap from explosion. The Northern Rockies wobble bag. Old Jersey tuck and roll. Ooh, ooh, the rarely seen Idaho throat grab. Uh, travel enriches the soul. It really does. Basic Dennis the Menace techniques remain as deadly as ever. You kill like a big boy. Fanico! Scorpion! Did you really return to free these misfits? Look at them, the trash of mankind. They've oh got God, they really are. What the hell are you trying to prove? That you've got guts? That you're a big man? That you're a hero? Do you you're actually want to respond, sir? Oh, no, no we're just going to keep talking. You've got no reason to be here. Just want to prove you haven't zeroed out, right? We're not worth it. We really so, aren't. To her? To them? Drop your little heat gun, Scorpion, or I'll waste this one. We'll just take his word that they are anywhere near each other. I'm telling you, Scorpion, drop it or I'll kill them all! One by one! One by one! Also his preferred method of eating eel fudge. He is really giving maniacal death cult members a bad name. No! <laughs> Leave my hat to Daniel Plainview. One by one! Who's next? How about whoever's the biggest ripoff of Barbarella? Scorpion, you want to fire a shot or two here? Prevent any more innocents being murdered? Nah. <laughs> what? The, did someone just sit on a pie? <laughs> Wacky. He's gonna only live twice unless he live and let's die another day. Ah! Katy Perry without makeup! Oh! Now that several innocents have been massacred, Scorpion leaps into action. Whoa, this getup really pinches a guy's muffin top. Body count so far, feared gang of murderous warriors, zero. Two guys and a second grader, 174. Okay, lose focus on the actor. And a pan to a large unidentifiable structure. And a couple of guys walk in front of it. Jeez. Move from the Inspector Gadget Collection. He's amazed by the kid's aim, but finds his taking an ear from every body a tad disturbing. Here he is! Over there! After it! Get him! Yep, knew what you wanted us to do after there he is. There he goes! Follow him! Don't let him escape! That's our guy! G -g got it, Tim. So listen to Ned Ryerson. <laughs> okay, taking the ears was one thing, but now he's carving the word mommy into their chest. The kid is twisted. This guy gives me a great idea. A superhero who's just a really good bow and arrow shooter. He can team with other, real, more popular superheroes and... 
Nah, it's a terrible idea. No, yeah. would not make a good it's movie. idiotic, really. You want to do a Freaky Friday-style body swap? Seems weird, but okay. Have a juice box. Remember that old man never high-fived me after a murder spree? Probably why I went on so many murder sprees. Not to be confused with actual speed of car. Soundtrack courtesy a sped up version of the Battletoads pause music. Hand sensibly attended to, an important example for the kids as he systematically carries out his revenge kills. Uh, I've had that happen, where it gets stuck on the drum channel like that. Made me drive like a jerk, too. I was tailgating, swerving, flipping birds, shouting profanities. <laughs> Last time I got asked to lead a funeral procession, I can tell you that much. Okay, why does the drill sound like a UFO in an Ed Wood movie? Looks effective. I still think they should have gone with the giant retractable boxing A flawless plan, provided the driver in front makes no effort to evade you by slightly changing his course at any time. Hey, you reap what you sow, buddy. <laughs> Didn't realize we were so far from the wall. Should have drilled him a bit later. Hang on. Almost there. Slow mo or just out of gas? Slow mo, I guess. Hey, a car on fire. I've been thinking this place could use one of those. May as well try to salvage his fuzzy dice. Next step fill his armor up with fish and water and make a chest aquarium. Real good massacre, guys. Can't get ahead of ourselves, though. We've got Dallas 5 next week. I could have sworn I dropped one more bomb around here. <laughs> oh, never mind. You realize killing him doesn't undo the whole, you know, thing. So where are you going from here? May check in on those knuckleheads down at the Thunderdome. Someplace you're not. Yes. Maybe no. Probably no. I'm not fond of oh, you. Oh, dear. May I help you again? Sure, baby. Come shave my head and you can really call me Gordon from Sesame Street. <laughs> my hair smells like apricots but doesn't taste like apricots. Hey, kid! Get over here! <laughs> Little scorpion humor there. Odds are I won't live till puberty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Things like consistent aspect ratios are so mainstream Hollywood. Scorpion and the little kid will return in Scorpion and the little kid go Hawaiian. Oh God, his hand is so clammy. Oh, this was a terrible idea. God, it's clammy and sticky. How is that possible? It literally feels like there's an entire jar of honey on his hand. Why is he firing a slingshot with such precision accuracy with such a sticky hand? And yet, despite the stickiness, it's still clammy. Now I'm just thinking about the word clammy. Ugh, it's a terrible word. It feels exactly like it sounds. Is this kid enjoying this? How is that even possible? This kid feels his own hand. You know how that works? Sort of like how you don't really hear your own voice. Your hand is clammy, kid. You don't know what that means? He licks the honey off of it. That's how it gets so clammy. Eat your honey with a spoon, kid, not with your bare hands. Especially if you're instituting some sort of weird new hand-holding policy. Whoa, whoa, what? What? Why is he rubbing my palm with his index finger? Not part of the deal. Not part of the deal. Oh, God. I'm so uncomfortable. Why did this kid learn to do this? Is he doing it on purpose? It's like 
just worm in between our clasped hands, a clammy, honey-drenched worm, and it's just writhing about. He, he's really enjoying this. Th this kid is twisted. Even without the clamminess, this hand-holding has gone on far too long. And, come on, kid, don't you want to lick some of that honey off of your hand? It's been a minute. You've got to have the urge to lick some honey, to give in to this bizarre sickness of yours that requires sweet, sweet honey every minute or so and leaves you with the clammy hands of a fresh corpse. Lick your hand. Lick your hand! Lick your hand! Gah! Ah, he's not doing it. Maybe if I rub his palm with my index finger in return. Yeah, how do you like that, you little... Oh, God. Instantly, I have to stop. It's so viscous. It's, it's so viscous. It's, it's such a deep layer of it. I'm amazed he was able to install that drill onto my car with hands like this. And now my rubbing, brief though it was, seems to have inspired him to rub my palm harder with even more enthusiasm. I, I should have died. I should have died in that car crash. Ceasing to exist on this mortal earth would have been a better trade-off than standing here holding this horrible boy's honey-drenched, clammy hand and having him rub my palm with his index finger. I, I'm in hell! I'm in hell! I'm in hell! Clammy hell! Ah! Ah! Clamminess! Ah! Rift Tracks.